is this still the party that I want to be involved with? Is this still a party that I want to donate to? Is this still a party that I can get behind? And I think a lot of those questions uh, will be answered on Saturday. BC Liberal Party members will choose their next leader this weekend. Online and telephone voting began on Thursday. Seven candidates are gunning for the position that former leader Andrew Wilkinson walked away from after a crushing defeat to the NDP in the 2020 provincial elections. I, I think this is probably one of the more important uh, moments for the BC Liberal Party. Carly Pachenik was the director of communications for the BC Liberal Caucus from 2017 to 2020. Um, the, you know, the, the setting of the tone is going to be the most important thing, I think, right off the bat. I think if we look back on the you know previous years, maybe that tone wasn't there. And I think the voters definitely... Uh, express that uh, in the election results in 2020. The candidates come from a variety of backgrounds. Experienced politicians, including Kevin Falcon, have thrown their hat in, and so have younger faces like Gavin Dew. Political scientist Gerald Byers says there's a lot of opportunity for renewal. There's people who've volunteered on campaigns, people who've ran in campaigns. They're going to be looking for someone who they think can be competitive in an election. Uh, they also, I think those insiders of sorts, will also be looking for somebody who can uh, manage the, the challenge coalition that is the BC Liberal Party. Right. I think the new leader, uh, whoever that is going to be on Saturday, that's going to need to be a priority is uniting that team, uh, ensuring that the team is engaged, is involved. The party member Vikram Bajwa has filed a petition in the BC Supreme Court. He wants to delay the release of the results after around 20,000 people suddenly signed up as party members during the leadership process. That delay would give the BC Liberals time to do a membership audit. It's a concern that people have brought forward. Is it a concern that needs to be addressed um, in this way? I don't know. At the end of the day, it's it's a leadership and there's a ton of emotion and a ton of passion involved. A spokesperson for the BC Liberals says the party believes it's taken reasonable steps to ensure all the new members are eligible to vote. The party plans to respond to that petition in court on Friday. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.